see chicken on fire? What? 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 How are they checking offside? What? Being a match day, my friends, and being a massive match day, we are brought to you with thanks to our friends at Fantasy 5, the football fantasy league game where you can win up to £5,000 every week, and best of all, it is completely free to play. Check out Fantasy 5 with the link in the description or the QR code on the screen. This week's game week for next Saturday is already open. That's the good news. And uh, we do appreciate our friends at Fantasy 5. I must remind you, it's 18 plus. BeGambleAware.org is there for all of your responsible gambling tools and always gamble responsibly. Again, thank you to Fantasy 5, the Fantasy League game where you can win up to £5,000 for free. What is up, my friends? You are most welcome along to another final here under Jurgen Klopp's stewardship. The Reds travel to London, or Anfield South, to take on Mauricio Pochettino's Chelsea. The team news is in. It has just dropped. Big news. No Mohamed Salah. No Darwin Nunes. No Dominic Soboslai in the squad. Not just in the team. They're not on the bench. Right, sit back, relax if possible, and I will do my best to take you through the game. Liverpool going to be kicking off, and we are underway. We are underway, my friends. And, of course, Liverpool do the decent thing and launch the ball long out left-hand side where it goes out of play for a Chelsea throw-in. Sit back, and let's get through this together. Finals are meant to be won. Let's win ugly, said Gakul. Exactly. Ball in. There comes Quivin. Two strong fists on it to clear it away. Gallagher falls down like the little bitch he is. He's such a little weasel. I detest those Chelsea players. Honest to God, I do. So, that's a free, right? Just hear me out. That's a free because Gallagher, being a little dope, falls to the ground. Van Dijk gets shouldered worse in the centre of the park. Nothing. Again, you have to cheat to get anything in the game. You have to go to ground like a little twat. Diaz! Oh! How have you not scored? <sighs> the, today is not the day, Diaz. Today is not the day to forget your shooting boots, bro. Come on. Why? Stop pushing them. It's like he wants to give away fouls. Yes, that again. Book this little donkey now. Book him, Kavanaugh. Enough of these shenanigans. Book him. He's not booking him. I haven't seen the yellow card again. How many times, Kavanaugh? That's, that is nonsense, referee. Nonsense. Another one with no yellow. That is absolute spoofology. Oh, Chelsea on the counter now. Connor Gallagher ball in field. Chance, chance, Kelleher! You absolute worldy. Don't you ever disrespect my boy again. I don't want to hear it. Kelleher, there. Tell me who'd have done that better. Absolute hero of a man. Hero. And it all comes from Kavanaugh being an absolute clown and not giving a blatant free kick in the middle of the park, allowing Chelsea to counter, and we almost concede only for the brilliance of Quivin Kelleher. Poch cries all week about the referee, and he's let it get in his head by the looks of it. Kavanaugh, you're supposed to be a professional. Linders and Klopp are going absolutely mental here on the sideline. And I don't blame them. Because once again, they're witnessing referees not doing their damn job. Another one of our players about to leave the game injured. Because Kavanaugh can't do his damn job. Look at that, like. He absolutely stood on him. Right on the ankle. You horrible little shit. You are a disgrace, Kavanaugh. An absolute disgrace. Stretcher coming on now to take off Gravenberg. That's the end of his cup final. I don't ever want to hear Neville or any of these other two-bit pundits telling us about respect for referees. They're a bunch of shithouses, a lot of them. Kavanaugh didn't do his damn job, didn't set the tone early in the final, and Chelsea have become more emboldened in their fouling, and this is what happens. We lose another goddamn player. Another one. There's another foul, this time on Endo, centre of the park. How many, ref? How many? How's Dermot McGallagher going to be defending this performance tomorrow when he's on ref watching? Very unfortunate there. Very unfortunate. I agree with the referee. I agree. I agree, referee. I agree, Dermot. I agree. Great, great. I agree. Steve, what do you think? I agree, Dermot, referee. But I am Howard Webb. Gives me my money. 
Cross in from Robbo. Header! Oh, it's hit the post! Gakpo, header, hits the post. <coughs> that was nearly me back on her. Shit. And the first goal. Well, let me talk you through it. Liverpool win the ball back. Left-hand side. Lucho plays it to Robbo. Robbo, back down the line to Lucho. Excuse me, it's back out to Robertson. And then it's crossed in. It's a decent header from McAllister. He kind of wheels away and the ball just ricochets off the post and back into play. Very unlucky. McAllister, Robertson and Gakpo there with that little bit of a a trio of excellence is what I'm going to call it. Right, James Pierce has said, Kavanagh will know he's had a shocker when he watches back that Caicedo challenge on Gravenberg. Players have been sent off for a lot less this season. So here's the thing, right? I don't disagree with James Pierce there. And that was James Pierce's post, by the way. I don't disagree with James at all, but they've already got the excuse book out, and I'm not sure if James knows it because obviously he's inside the stadium, but they've already got the, he slipped James, so don't worry about it, mate, nothing to see here. He slipped, so therefore the good folks in the VAR hub say, it's okay, mate, you can snap an ankle if you slipped, it's just, you know, that's fine, unless your name's Curtis Jones, in which case you'll be sent off. Again, it's the inconsistencies, isn't it? The inconsistencies of decision-making is quite simply pathetic. It's honestly... it. I know you all think I moan. And some of you hate me for it. But I'm just looking at what I'm seeing with my own eyes and trying to comprehend how somebody who's apparently a professional can let all that go. And what you're going to get on Sky tomorrow... And I'm going to tell you beforehand so you can come back to me tomorrow and say, Oh my God, Craig, you were right. You're going to get Dermot Gallagher saying this. That he wanted to let stuff go at the start of the game because it was a cup final and he didn't want to ruin it by players going in the book early and walking a tightrope. But unfortunately, when you don't do your job and lay a marker down early in the game and set the tone as the referee, what happens is players naturally start pushing the boundaries, start knowing that they can get away with a bit more. And we've seen that as the Chelsea foul count totted up and up and up and nothing. No yellow cards until one of our players nearly has his ankle snapped and still nothing. He only gets the card out when Chilwell suddenly thinks that he's Jean-Claude Van Damme and starts to have a pop at Bradley and then broke books air player for the fun of it. it. Honestly, Klopp and Linders must be losing their minds because what we've seen from Kavanagh is basically an admission that Pochettino's in his head. Chelsea holding the line about two yards ahead of the 18-yard box. Ball in. Virgil! Virgil van Dijk! Liverpool have scored! Our captain wheels away in celebration! Virgil van Dijk! He's our centre half! He's a number four! Watch him defend! And we watch him score! He'll pass the ball! Come as you like. Who is he? It's Virgil van Dijk. He's Virgil van Dijk. 1-0. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 1-0. Our captain, Mr. Virgil van Dijk, buries the header, giving Petrovic no chance. No hope this is offside or anything, by the way. We love it, Virgil. 1-0. Whoop, whoop. Although, it's all very wood. Very well and good, Craig, saying it's 1-0. But that's not what we want to see, is it? No, we want to see a certain little man, don't we? And a little bit of chicken fried. Cold beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans to fit just right. And the radio up. A little bit of chicken fried. A cold beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans to fit just right. And the radio up. What was that? Pair of jeans fitting you just right, chance to be a fine thing. Now, now. 1-0. Newlon loves it. I love it. Van Dyke loves it. Why are they checking on VAR? What? 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 How are they checking offside? Van Dyke's like 15 yards behind. What? The ref's having to go to the monitor to look at this. What? How is the... Oh my God, we're getting shafted, aren't we? We're getting shafted, lads. We're getting shafted, watch. How on earth? How is this offside? On what planet is this offside? But if you look at Endo... Oh, here. Move after that. I know. And the Chelsea player doesn't even try to get past them. How on earth can you call this for offside? 
This is this. Oh, lads, no. No. Honestly, I can't put up with this. I cannot be doing with this. He's nowhere near it. He doesn't even try to get past him. Watch. No goal. Offside. You absolute cheating scumbags. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The goal's been ruled out for offside. We've been robbed. Absolutely robbed. Oh, lads, I, I don't care. I don't care. Don't even talk to me about referees. Don't even talk to me. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. We have been robbed again. Again, by the way. Again. Robbed. That happens 50 times a week. 50 times a week. With every corner. Every free kick. And we get called. Again. Caicedo. No red. No yellow. We score a perfectly good goal. And you find a way to cheat offside. Cheat. I don't care what Neville, Carragher, Redknapp, Pugetino, or anybody else has to say. That is why the PGMOL need to be disbanded. That is disgusting. Disgusting. It's nothing to do with block and view, Harry. If you're going to put in your comment, try and get it right. They're saying he blocked the pathway for the Chelsea defender to get back, who never made an attempt to get back, and Van Dijk was three yards behind him. It's an absolute disgrace. How is that? Oh my God. How is that not a foul the other way? You little gimp. Gallagher comes in two-footed. Referee plays on. Canadi wins the ball. Yellow card. Look at that challenge from Gallagher. Oh my God. Any resemblance of credibility or integrity they have are being eroded away week by week. Gallagher through. Kelleher again. Hero. Hero of a man. What a keeper. Five minutes to go. Kelleher again. Don't ever disrespect that man again. Oh. 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 Oh my Jesus. How did Kelleher save all them? Oh my god. Oh my god. How Kelleher deserves a sainthood. One, two, three attempts there from Chelsea. Two of them saved by Kelleher, one blocked by a defender. <sighs> Heroes. Every single one of them. This is. I don't care if we win or lose. Because, like, with regards to what I'm about to say. Because those kids have stepped up. Those kids have done it. Those kids have given us the opportunity to win this. And I'm proud of them forever. And I love them. But not as much as I just love Van Dijk! 1-0! The second time! Virgil! El Capitan! The gaffer! The gaffer! You can take... Our first goal, but you will never take our freedom! 1-0! Virgil van Dyke, ladies and gentlemen. Now we finally get to sing. Little bit of chicken on a Friday night. Cold beer and a suck my balls, Tierney! And all you other clowns in the PGMOL Kavanaugh, you twats! Woo! I will smash VAR. A little bit of chicken fried, cold beer on a Saturday night. The taste of silverware feels so right, and a Virgil van Dyke. He's our centre half. He's a number four. Watch him defend, and we watch him score twice. He'll pass the ball, come as you like. Who is he? It's Virgil van Dyke. It's Virgil van Dyke. Brian with the $99.99 super chat saying justice. We love that, Brian. Rain, thank you for gifting 10 Anfield Agenda memberships. Do you know what? I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I'm more relieved that we we'll, should hopefully win it or that we're not going to have to go through penals. Trophy numero uno on the way. 33 minutes up on the clock. The referee blows. It is all over. Liverpool have won the League Cup, beating Chelsea by a goal to nil. It is over. We will see the trophy lift. 
PGMOL, hang your head in shame. Chris Kavanagh, you're a disgrace. John Brooks, not fit for purpose. But our boys, our boys, every single one of those youngsters, heroes, our captain, hero.